let me and forgive me mr president for saying this when during our inauguration uh, before i say that when first when we went to state house for the first time after we won the election we accompanied his excellency the president to state house so we and when we arrived there we went to the office inside the office where a uh, long time we used, we used to, be, to go and see Nyayo inside. <laughs> and again, we went to see Kibaki when he was there. So when we entered inside, uh, the president told me, my friend, please pray first. Let us pray. <laughs> so, So, so I prayed. <laughs> and then uh, we had a chat, and then we came outside. So, and then another eight of hours. I don't want to mention his name because he has applied for a job. <laughs> it, <laughs> it might be used against him. <laughs> so, we came outside there when we were having a chat. So, this gentleman told us, now, you guys, supposing somebody shows up here and says, uh, sorry, gentlemen, there was a small mistake. <laughs> you are not supposed to be the ones who are supposed to be. <laughs> Anyway, that's a story for another day. <clears throat> but uh, on a much more serious note, so when we came to um, uh, Kasarani, which is the same vicinity around here, we had decided with the president that because God, you know, really has done this for our country. We've had peaceful elections, and God has been gracious to us as a nation. And we must give him all the glory. We said we are going to kneel down so that we are prayed for. But we didn't know how to tell now this, all these people, sorry, all these people. And uh, the most difficult person was the uh, chief of defense forces. <laughs> we didn't know now, how do we tell this man, we are going to kneel down. <laughs> so the president told me, just leave it. We just tell the pastor to come and announce. <laughs> <clears throat> so, so when that time arrived and uh, we were supposed to kneel down, I saw the eyes of the chief of defense forces. <laughs> and he was not amused. <laughs> And uh, he told me, because we were running there, there is no way the commander of in chief is going to kneel down. The soldiers are standing there. <laughs> but you know, the, the president told him, uh, CDF just uh, stepped back and we knelt down and we were prayed for. But uh, after a day, I met the CDF and he told me, his wife told him, 
if there was the ceremony of inauguration. Forget about anything else that happened. The kneeling down was the event. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, he finally came around and agreed that uh, it was the right thing to do. But let me say this, that uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, as we go forward, beyond our political divide, beyond the race, the races and communities we come from, it is our desire that God puts us together, wells us together, brings us together, so that we can work together for the glory of God and for the success of our country, so that we can have one united, prosperous nation. <clears throat> uh, Your Excellency, let me uh, conclude there and say um, I'm very proud to be your deputy, although some of these people, they demote me sometimes. <laughs> you know, sometimes they refer me to vice deputy president, so <laughs> some, some other time, it's even worse, they say, when a deputy governor, so... <laughs> But uh, I'm a very proud person to be your, dep uh, your deputy because I know you mean well uh, for our country and I'm confident that under your leadership, Kenya is going to be a great, prosperous nation. Let me now my very humble duty to request His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta to make his speech.